Let's recall Newton's gravity in its simplest manifestation. Let's suppose we have two equal masses uh, separated by some distance d. Then Isaac Newton told us that the force between them will be inversely proportional to the square of their distance and proportional to the product of their masses. And so this mass here feels an attraction from this mass in this direction and this formula is the force uh, due to gravity. So the mass squared divided by the distance squared times Newton's constant g, which is a known number. The minus sign means it's pulling you in this direction. By Newton's third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This mass feels the same force, but in the positive direction. And hence, you have a plus sign there. That's our starting point for understanding the cosmic web. Now, we have a little ways to go. Now let's consider the next uh, simplest case, three equal masses, also separated by the same distance, d. Well, consider the force on this mass. Well, that force is the sum of the force from this mass and that mass. And we know that this force is minus g m squared over d. But it also feels uh, a force from this mass, which is at a distance 2d from this mass. So we now have to add on a piece, which is m squared divided by the distance squared, which is 2d quantity squared. By Newton's third law, this mass feels exactly the same force, but in the opposite direction. So it's the same formula with a plus sign. But now there's something interesting. This mass feels no force. The force on it is zero. And the reason for that is simple to understand. It's getting pulled in this direction in exactly the same amount as it's getting pulled in that direction because the masses are equal and the separations are equal. So the forces cancel. So there is a tug of war going on on this mass. And the net force is zero.